I'm wondering if trace amounts of DNA from her breath might have stuck to the adhesive. Okay. So they're going to... What? Call an ambulance. They're going to call an ambulance? What? What? Still in process. After you get the results from the... From the... The mass spectrometer? Yes. Yeah, um, make sure to check the calibration. Yeah, of course. We'll do. Mass spectrometer. Mass spectrometer. Mass spectrometer. Well, thank you for getting me in early. When the chief of staff says this is a priority, I assume it's a priority. So what are they going to do? There's no reason to do anything. You know, the bleeding is stopped. I'm fine. The brain, it's funny. In two days, it might be like nothing ever happened. But right now? I'm forgetting things. Small things. Words. Like mass spectrometer. Though obviously I remembered it now because I did a memory palace technique earlier today where I put the mass spectrometer in a different room. Mara. That really helped me. Helped me. I'm not going to worry about the things I can't control. I'm going to do what my doctors tell me to do, and I'm going to let my friends help me if I have a few small problems. Of course. We'll get through it. I know. The bullet passed between the clavicle and first rib. It struck and perforated the right peroneal vein and the right thoracic artery. <clears throat> the bullet then went through the apex of the upper lobe of the lung. <clears throat> Is there a problem? It's just that you said the uh, peroneal vein, which is... In the leg. I know where the peroneal vein is. Brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic vein. I must be tired. The night of the shooting, I suffered a subdural hematoma. It's stable, but there has been some... Slight cognitive loss. Any further loss of consciousness, nausea? Slurred speech, trouble walking? No. Right, well, that's good then. Morning. Hey. What's that? Research. Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. Latest edition. You don't have a mental disorder. I have a condition that can affect the way I think. Or overthink. Well, it doesn't hurt to educate myself on current treatments. On mental disorders that you don't have. Okay, you told me that you were feeling better, that you had no more symptoms. Yeah, but that can change at any moment, and there's nothing I can do about it, and I don't excel at doing nothing. This is true. Uh, Maura? Yes, sir. I've actually been doing some research on your symptoms. I think it's possible that you may have a Chiari malformation. Well, it's a genetic condition, isn't it? Congenital structural defect of the cerebellum, yeah. It could have been lying dormant until it was unmasked by your head trauma. I hadn't considered that. Hey, come on. My research shows there's room for optimism. I'm sure there is. I'm sorry, it's just um, daunting to objectively diagnose something that affects me so deeply. Yeah, well, it's not your job to be objective. That's why I'm here. I've left the reading on your desk. I'll take a look at it. Thank you. Sure. No DNA matches from the blood sample on the victim? Nope, nothing. Okay, then we'll have to wait for a tox report. You mean... 
trace chemical analysis. What did I say? <laughs> Another slip. No, no, you just, you, you misspoke. Or I'm losing it. Well, you're so scared of having a slip that you're giving yourself a complex. That's a very unscientific justification. Look, Mora, if the military has taught me one thing, it's you make assessments based on facts on the ground. Now, you've not had a lapse in ages, and we now have a potential diagnosis, which means treatment options. Now is not the time to panic. I appreciate your optimism. But I feel that I owe it to the people I serve to be the sharpest mind in the room. Yeah, and you are that mind. I'm not so sure. And I can't tell you how frightening it is to have to admit. Yeah, you said you need to give me something? Yes. Um, well, I have been reading the research about Chiari malformations. It may be the source of my condition. Okay, what's it say? Well, there is a procedure to alleviate the pressure on the cerebellum, and it could eliminate my symptoms entirely. Well, this is great, right? Well, there's also a chance that it doesn't work, or my symptoms worsen, rendering me unable to perform my duties. But that's not going to happen. Maybe not. But until I can be sure, I can't let our cases rest in the balance. What's this? My resignation. If the day comes... Laura, come on, this is a little premature, don't you? Th no, this is more than premature. This is like the nuclear option. I just want to be prepared for the worst case scenario. I don't want you to have the burden of having to make that call for me down the road. Well, what about the best case scenario? You know, the one where you get better? Look, Laura, I know this is scary for you. It's scary for me, too. Okay, and, and I will hold on to this if that's what you want. But I know I'm not going to need it. I just don't want to let anyone down. You never have. You know, fencing is defined as the art of using the sword scientifically. It's been around since the 12th century. Mm. The only fencing I ever heard about when I was little involved stereos, two guys named Luigi, and a getaway car. <laughs> this kind won't get me arrested. But it will help my brain build new neural pathways. Is that what this is about? You're gonna fence your way out of your brain condition? I'm just trying a variety of activities. Learning new skills helps the brain create new connections that can compensate for damaged ones. So you really think that this could help you? Well, it could. And if it doesn't, then at least it's gonna give me good abs. <laughs> Look at you. Shaking the bobaloo, are we? Well, the association between work and Mozart is a well-worn neural pathway in my brain, and I am forcing a new electrochemical pattern to fire. Interesting. There's been a lot of excellent results in neural retraining and stroke victims. Oh, yes, and all kinds of limbic impairment. And is there much research using this technique for carrier malformations? Just me, as far as I know. And are you considering any other treatment options? Well, if my symptoms worsen, I will think about surgery. Okay. So in the meantime, Motown. I was thinking about a little bit of Gladys Knight. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. you okay? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, I think I just didn't drink enough water today. Thank you. I don't think hydration is a problem here, Mora. I had to look over the reports that you asked me to file. There was an error in the fiscotopsy. What kind of an error? You spelled... You spelled myelomeningocele wrong. Really? Myelomeningocele? It's a protrusion or growth in the spine. I remember learning the term. First year medical school, Gray's Anatomy, M-Y-L-I... M... M Y, no, it's in E. It's M Y. Mora, I just have to say that such collapses have shown some great results. Well, I'm not so sure that you have your man because the DNA says that your man is a woman. What? Is this the file? No, uh, that's not the right one. What is it? It's a list of neurosurgeons that specialize in surgical treatments for Chiari malformations. 
I thought you were feeling better. What about the whole neuro highway thing? In time, it can be effective. The truth is, I think I've just been using it to avoid the surgery. It's okay to be scared, Maura. It's not the surgery that scares me. I just... I guess I'm just afraid of what will happen if it doesn't work. You know, Jane, I have always been... The smartest person in the room? I wasn't going to say that. I said it. What if I'm not me anymore? I've experienced some symptoms. Headaches, um, occasional memory loss. Yes, I, I was diagnosed with Chiari malformation after the fall. Yes, yes, I've decided to have decompression surgery. My, my doctor thinks that it could eliminate some of the pressure caused from the injury. There's nothing to worry about. You know, the operation lasts a couple of hours. They make a small incision in the back of the neck. They push the skin and the muscle aside and remove a piece of the skull to relieve the pressure. That doesn't sound so simple. <laughs>